Hello and welcome to web learning where knowledge is shared. In this video I'm going to test how I can put a butane gas straight into the carburetor, the old carburetor, and see if the generator can run. I have a butane tank I'll show you in a minute. It's the uh, one on the right, the orange one. And I have this. This is a butane regulator that you can adjust how much gas you want it to flow. It has a small diaphragm inside and it can set how much gas will flow into uh, the hose so it's reducing from high pressure to lower pressure but you can set it. Usually those things uh, you cannot set them but I got a special one that you can do. Now this one has also a special quick release connector that I have you see and um, it comes like this it's especially made for gas I'm going to hook another hose to this one and then hook it to the carburetor I need to take the air filter off so I can reach the gas hose And there is one in the back. Because I'm going to run the generator, I'll put those nuts back on. So the carburetor won't move. Well, this is the gas hose. It's way too big. Let me try and figure out how I'm going to do that. Okay, change of plans. I couldn't find any hose to do that, but I do have this little thing that can connect to this small bottle. This is what I said that I'm going to measure. I know how many grams are in them because I usually fill them up back again. Uh, I, have, I haven't done that for a long time, so this one, when it will finish, I'll throw it away because it already has rust. Um, this one fits quite okay to the carburetor, as you can see. Let me try and fire this up and see how it works. Okay, so I have it hooked up to the generator. And I'll open the gas a bit and I'll try to start the generator and let's see if it works. Okay, so there is not enough pressure in the tank and it it's really cold so it means that it ran a lot of the propane out. I had also to close the choke in order to get it running. So I need the bigger one. Uh, there is still propane here but uh, it used quite a lot really fast. So let me see if I can get it running uh, somehow with the bigger one, with the bigger tank. 
Okay, change of plans. I couldn't find anything uh, to get the hoses match between the different sizes, uh, even to this one. Uh, I'll need to buy and order uh, something that can change between this size to the smaller diameter. I still want to put this, even though the new carburetor has a, a valve to release the fuel, I want to put this one in so I can empty the gas tank really quickly and not uh, take this hose every time so it will be uh, like this one like that and I can open the valve and empty the gas tank really quickly if I have any gas inside so that's the plan I'm going to change the carburetor now and put the new one in that one has the right size for the propane uh, I hope Let's get that working with the uh, with this carburetor. So those are the gaskets in the previous one uh, this is the, the gas and this is the choke uh, you see the gasket has the whole hole here well there is this duct channel inside somewhere else we will focus and keep focus and on the other side, the gasket, this one is to nowhere. This uh, exit, yes. So let me see with the new one. So this is the one with the hole. And it's like that. And on the other side, that looks okay, like that. And on the other side, should it be like this? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it looks like it. So let me put it like that. I have it set to 5, so it's not strong. Okay, that's holding. Let's hook up the propane. Some WD-40 to lube. I'll move you out of the way for a minute. I was supposed to do it before I had it installed. Yeah, got it. I'm not. Okay, let me put you on hold just a minute. Okay, so I managed to connect it. It looks fine. Um, I also connected the quick release so that's also connected I'll need to connect it to the propane tank and let's fire it up even though I have this uh, valve adjustable I think it doesn't really matter what it will do because there is this regulator uh, but I'll try to play with it when I start the generator let's see Okay, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but when I open the valve of the propane, I immediately get propane here. And I'm not supposed to because this diaphragm is supposed to hold the propane until there is a vacuum. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. 
Either way, let me try to run this and see what happens. I think I need to close the choke maybe halfway. Let's see what happens. There's too much. I'm opening the choke completely now. Let's see. Okay, the choker is fully open. It's not idling nicely and uh, I need to put a load on it and see. Okay, let me shut it off. still running let me find the load just a minute okay I've added the resistive load let's fire it back again and see what happens with the load I'm gonna put the choke on thing is I can still hear the gas running hold on can you hear this okay 
Okay, so it works. The only thing is that the guy, the propane doesn't shut off. I don't know what to do. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, so you'll get a notification the next time I'm uploading a new video of any sort. Thank you. Bye-bye. Before you go, there was one last thing I wanted to check. I put the air box back, the air filter. I want, I'm still with a new carburetor, with a gas. I closed the tip of the gas, so nothing will uh, go in. It's quite easy to take off, just pull it out. But I want to run the gas. I don't want to fill the gas tank, uh, because then I need to drain it. So I hooked up a small hose and I have gas up to here so it's not a lot before we do that let's open the the release valve right here at the bottom and let's see what happens if it drains or not remember this little guy yeah so it it drains fine let's start it and see what happens I will also add the load and see if it runs okay while running the load okay let's crank it mm, yeah I'll put choke The choke is off. Okay. I want to run it. I want to run it until the gas runs out. I put the load, it should run faster. I'm playing with the choke because uh, when there is no more fuel, they run dead uh, faster and you can play a, play a bit with the choke and keep it running for longer. Let's see if I have anything in the bowl. Again, there is this quick release. Uh, not a lot. Uh, it's really nice that you, I can drain it just from here. Nice, so the bowl should be empty. The engine is still hot. Um, most likely I'm going to run it again when I'll hear from the guys of the carburetor. I'm not gonna put any oil in the cylinder yet because I wanna see what's going on with them. And that's it, thank you for joining. Don't forget to click the subscribe and the notification bell. Thank you.